So uh, tonight we're talking about transforming our tech habits. What world am I preparing my child for? What experience do I want them to have? And who do I want them to, to be in that context? Because ultimately we need to prepare our children for the world that they're inhabiting. So that includes technology. And I wanna say right up front, there is no silver bullet. There's no magical, you do this and you're good kind of thing. It really is about building connections with your children or your students if you're a teacher and having the discussion about what is the place of these sorts of technological tools in our lives today? Why do we use them? What are they for? What are they bad for? What are they good for? How do we use them? When do we use them? Those all need to be a really important part of our contemporary reality about technology. And so William James here, he says, what is called our experience is almost entirely determined by our habits of attention. There's something really important to this because our experience is what we recollect of our lives. That's our, our lived experience. And so the ways that our habits of attention work will determine what our lives are, what, like what the content of our lives is. Because right now we live in what you could call an attention economy. And that's screen in hand times time equals money for the companies that provide these services for us. And the challenge with that is they've learned how to hook into our habit body, into our neurological patterns, into our risk and reward centers of our brain. And they're using that to capture our attention. So we prioritize the virtual over the real because we actually get neurological goodies. We get dopamine and serotonin that flood our brain when we get new information from our device. And so these things combined really are limiting our ability to have clear mental space, to be aware of our emotional state, to be present with those that we're interacting with. So how do we work with this? What do we do with that? <clears throat> well, I advocate for what, what I call a slow tech approach. Now, in your handouts, there's a few pieces. You'll have, you'll have this first sheet. This is basically notes for tonight, so to speak. And then you have a family screen culture plan. And that family screen culture plan is your ticket to start to think about what do we want our family's values around technology to be? The other piece is making some commitments. Their personal and family commitments and the personal ones look like I choose Sunday to be my tech-free day or I have turned off non-essential notifications on my phone. Because really what you're trying to do is you're trying to show them that these values are worth defending. Because they might not believe you, they might not wanna participate in it, but the fact that you hold that value strongly enough to make it a statement in your house and regularly talk about it is the thing that will make the difference in their lives. It's you defending that value and saying, this is important because of this. That's how we communicate values. And it's totally yours to define. That's the beauty of it. I can offer you these pictures today. I can offer you the developmental pictures, but your personal habits, the values that live in your family, that come from your ancestry and your immediate situation and your children, those are the pieces that are gonna allow you to form that experience based on your habits of attention and your family values that will ultimately determine the quality of your life. So that's the opportunity that we have today. And so when we start to actually grab a hold of this question of, do we manage our habits? Do we try to change them? Do we take control of that? Do we, do we seek to have a different relationship with it? That's really our life experience. We can give it to the technology companies or we can use the tools that they have given us to really make our lives better, to create that more beautiful world that our hearts know is possible. 
So are we using this technology in a way that serves our higher purpose, our higher goals, and the dream that we have for our children? That's what I'd like to leave you with today. So thank you so much. I truly appreciate your time. It really is a gift. And hopefully some of these things can be something that you take home and start to consider your habits with. Thank you so much.